promises this is one of the most confusing and advanced topic in javascript but in this tutorial you will learn promises in very simple and easy manner hello friends welcome back to this channel if you are new here my name is meet i am a software engineer and on this channel i explain web development in simple and easy way so what is a promise a promise is an object which is able to hold the result of an asynchronous operation in other words promise is promise you to give you the result of the asynchronous operation or give you error if you don't know about synchronous and asynchronous term then you can watch this previous videos of this series where i explain synchronous and asynchronous and also callback function both in easiest way after watching those videos you can continue this video now let me explain you promise with the example first we create promise and then we will see how we can consume that promise it is really simple so to create promise we write new keyword and then promise now this promise is a class and it takes an argument which is function with two parameters so here first parameter is resolve and second parameter is reject and arrow function now inside this function we write our asynchronous code here again we are assuming we are getting data from database so we write here set timeout and pass function sorry callback function and 3000 milliseconds now imagine here we get our data from database so i create one variable called student equals to object let's say id to 1 and name to harley now we write here resolve function because we successfully get the data and we pass here this student now let's store this promise in variable called pr for promise i know this is little confusing but don't worry after completing this video your doubts will clear now let's see how we can consume this promise so we write pr which is this variable dot and here we have two main methods then and catch now when we create promise it is by default in pending state and if we complete the asynchronous task then promise is in fulfilled state and if there is an error then promise in rejected state here our promise fulfilled because we call here resolve function So when promise is fulfilled then we get our data in this then method now we name our data as result parameter and then simply console this result save this and see after 3 seconds we get this result now imagine here for some reason we don't get data from database so here i create a variable call status and make it false and here we add condition if status is true then we run this resolve function else we simply call here reject function now for better practice every time we want to return error we create a new error and pass our error message here save the changes and refresh the page see we get this error here now let's consume this error same as we get data in then method so after this then method we add another method called catch and here we get error as parameter and simply console.log this error save this and see we get that error here and that's how we consume promise using then and catch method So promises helps us manage asynchronous task like fetching data from a server or reading a file in more organized way. It starts in a pending state then moves to either fulfilled or rejected. So in short if our promise get resolved then this then method will run and if our promise get rejected then this catch method will run. Simple as that. So I hope you learn promises which is an object which able to holds the result of an asynchronous operation 
I know creating promises is little bit difficult, but in real world, 99% times we only consume promises. So don't worry about creating the promise. And also, currently I am working on the ultimate Node.js course in which you will learn Node.js from scratch to advanced level in very easy to explain language and with real world projects. So in the description box, I added one Google form link. Enter your email and first thousand students will get this course completely free for lifetime. So quickly register, link is down in the description box and I will see you in the next video.